3D printing miniatures on an FDM printer is hard. It's really hard. Prints often fail, or they look like utter dung. That's just the reality of printing on miniatures on an FDM machine. But today, I'm going to be printing and painting a tree ant model that I found on my mini factory. We're going to be using this model in our Iron Sworn game, uh, which you can actually watch on this channel right now. Today, we're going to be playing Iron Sworn. So, how do you go about printing miniatures on an FDM machine? Well, there's a few things that you can do to help. You could not print on an FDM machine and just get a resin printer instead. Of course, that comes with its own set of problems. Oh, yeah, uh, the resin is toxic, so you have to make sure you have good ventilation. Often, resin printers have uh, slightly smaller build plates, so you're not going to be able to print as much terrain for your games. And, you know, resin ex is expensive. And if you already have an FDM machine, you probably can't afford a resin printer. Well, what are some other things you can do? Uh, you can spend a lot oh, of yeah. time Holy dialing in your slicer set. Some of the things I've good. found is generally the slower you print, the better the end result will be. Uh, I also like printing slow because it kind of artificially conserves your filament because filament is also expensive and I don't have a lot of money. Uh, you can also print with a 0.2 millimeter nozzle. Uh, this is just a, you should be doing this if you're printing miniatures on an FDM machine. And then uh, you can dial in your settings for your supports. Here's a really helpful video about printing supports on miniatures. Now, all of this is extremely helpful, but there's one thing that you can do that will help you a lot. It took me a while to come to this conclusion, but I think it's necessary for every person who's 3D printing miniatures to accept that you're not going to be able to print every miniature on your FDM machine. Some models are more difficult to print than others. These miniatures are already thin and flimsy, and the especially thin and flimsy ones, you probably can't print. FDM machines do have limitations. Not every model is gonna come out great. So you really have to pick and choose the right models. So do you notice anything special about this tree end model here that I've printed and am now painting? There were no supports on this miniature. It was designed to be 3D printed without using any supports. Which, by the way, modeling a model like that, it, it blows my mind how difficult that must be. Because modeling something is already hard, but now the artist also has to accommodate for 3D printing it. They must be the most creative people on the planet. Now, there's other supportless miniatures out there. There's actually a lot of supportless miniatures out there and they're great. You don't have to print with support, you, you just turn that setting off on your slicer. Um, and these models just tend to come out a lot cleaner, a lot easier to print. So where can you find supportless models? Well, I, I just wanted to talk a little bit about some of the models I have found and have really liked a lot. Okay, so this first one is from Ve Victus Miniatures. Hopefully I pronounced that right. They have a Patreon. Uh, they do a bunch of supportless models or models that have minimal supports, which you can get similarly great results with. I love their miniature because they have a really cool art style. And if you subscribe to their Patreon, it's, I believe it's only 10 bucks a month and you get whatever their current month release is, but you also get a really great welcome pack. I printed these guard characters from their welcome pack and I really, really like how these guys come out. I, I absolutely love these guys' art style. You can see these guards in an upcoming episode of Iron Sworn, so be looking forward to that. Another one that I actually haven't bought any miniatures from this before, but I just, they look so awesome. And I've printed a few of the free models uh, and that's Arbiter Miniatures. Uh, so they've run a bunch of different uh, Kickstarters, uh, which you can now back retrospectively uh, to still get the same models. I really like these models because they look awesome. They also have a lot of variety. This is a great source of miniatures because it just has so many. The one downside is that it's a little expensive for the, you can get 60 hero models, which 60 is a lot, but it costs $60, uh, which honestly I do think is a good deal and I really want it, I just can't afford it right now. Uh, and then another one is Brit Minis, or uh, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that, it might be Bright Minis, but he has a bunch of models on Thingiverse for free. He also does have a Patreon if you want even more models. Uh, you should definitely support him if you can because 
He does so many great models for the community. So I'd recommend just scrolling through his Thingiverse and picking and choosing the models that you really like. That's kind of what I did and I printed a few here. Actually, Cliff from our Iron Sword series is a model from him. He's got great models and it's, it's really cool of him to release them for free. I will say I generally tend to scale up his models just a little bit because I, I found them to be just a little bit too small. So I'd, I'd recommend loading in a couple other miniatures into your slicer and kind of just comparing the sizes and uh, just working a little bit to get the right size for uh, his miniatures. So those are kind of the three that I really like a lot. Uh, you can also just find a bunch online. You can just type in uh, supportless miniatures uh, and then find a, a bunch. So this treant is coming out pretty well. I, I, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with how he turned out. It's a, it, an extremely simple paint job, just literally dry brushing on heavy coats of brown. Uh, and then I did some glue and did, added some uh, kind of moss growing up. And it was super simple. The print looks great and it's a simple model so you don't have to go too hard on it. And I think it came out nicely. It's always a struggle printing miniatures on an FDM machine. But if you are able to accept that not all models will print well, and if you work a little bit to find supportless versions of the models you want, you can get some really great results. If you want to watch us fight this tree int, take a look at our Iron Sworn series. I think you're really going to enjoy it. Thanks for watching.